Hello, everyone. Welcome to our course, Green Economy from China's Stories. In the last few lessons, we share experience and learnt about how the ecological environment issues were generated, identified, and governed. Today's topic is how to look at ecological economics from the perspective of academics. In fact, in the difficult exploration. And successful experience of ecological environmental protection, China has formed a unique program and framework for Chinese ecological economic research. Now, please watch a video. Ecological economics enriches Chinese ecological economic theory. 目前，人类面临的生态危机日趋严重，全球生态治理的共识正逐步形成。8月14号到16号，生态经济研究前沿国际高层论坛在山东滨州举行。与会学者围绕人类共识与生态治理、生态治理背景下的生态经济问题等展开学术讨论。与会学者表示，自党的十八大召开以来，我国继续坚持生态文明建设。提出了许多新的理念。以前我们经常说，既要金山银山，也要绿水青山。现在我们的认识是，绿水青山就是金山银山。这正是发展观念转变的体现。学者指出，发展生态经济是我国经济发展方式转变所内生的必然要求。要实现生态与经济的协调与可持续发展，就要促进生态经济学的研究，为中国的生态文明建设提供理论基础。中国生态经济学界从八十年代我们的生态经济学学科体系建立到现在，一个最好的一个逻辑关关系和视角是我们把二者结合了。我们呢，遵循着生态关系，呃，遵循着生产力关系，从这个有机统一上去研究生态经济的所有范畴和概念。这个在实践当中走到今天，那么应该说是一个亮点。也正是因为中国生态经济学界的这个贡献。It can be seen that. The research of ecological economics must be based on facts, from theory to practice, from practice to theory. Of course, how to reflect the frontier and characteristics of theoretical subjects requires us to summarize and refine. Today, we will introduce two aspects to you. The first is the current teaching material system. Of ecological economics research. The second is the discipline attributes of ecological economics research. This part shows us a series of teaching material systems of ecological economics. Among them, ecological economics. An introduction shows the foreign reference of ecological economics, including some international scientific research methods. And contents. The teaching material, ecological economics, is translated from English. It researches and explains ecological economics from the perspective of coevolutionary economics. The teaching material, ecological environment and economic development, is to provide another set of research system from relationship between ecological environment protection. And economic development in the quantitative economics, the development of ecological economics is viewed from a quantitative perspective. How do we view the ecological economics? How do we diagnose ecological economics? Resources and environmental economics looks at ecological economic issues from the perspective of resources and environment, and understands the development process. And content of ecological economics from the perspective of population, resources, economic efficiency, externality theory, sustainable development, and circular economy. Circular economics expounds the branches of ecological economics from the perspective of the systematic theory of circular economy and other aspects. And introduces the related contents of ecological civilization, circular economic ethics, and circular economic policies. Low carbon economics is the first innovative monograph on economics 
that focuses on low-carbon economics. It is a monograph and teaching material on low-carbon economics, written by members of the Club of Rome and members of the expert group of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, for us to form a branch. In the 1950s, there was growth economics in the context of economic competition. The rise of developing countries in the 1960s produced development economics, and the explosion of population and environmental issues in the 1970s led to environmental economics. A low-carbon industrial revolution was caused by the issue of global warming and energy revolution, which gave birth to a low-carbon economy and promoted low-carbon economics to the university classes. Among them, the population resources and environmental economics are connected as a system. Population resources and environmental economics has been formed, which has analyzed a series of issues to achieve sustainable development of population, resources, and environment, and draws on China's actual situation to form a better experience. Systems Science and Modeling for Ecological Economics is a reference teaching material from abroad which introduces how to view the issues of ecological development from the perspective of system theory and ecology, as well as the issues of watershed hydrology, spatiotemporal modeling of water resources, social economic dynamic modeling, and sustainability. On this basis, the book describes key issues of practice in model optimization and modeling and provides new insights into how we can do quantitative analysis and modeling. Next, let's look at what are the characteristics of the discipline attributes of ecological economics. Compared with what I have just said, what kind of discipline is economic economics? Ecological economics is a discipline that studies the structure, function, and movement laws of the complex system of ecosystems and economic systems, that is, the discipline of the structure of ecological economy systems and the development laws of contradictory movements. It is an interdisciplinary discipline formed by the combination of ecological economics and economics. This is different from our economics and other disciplines. From the combination of economics and ecology, based on the interaction between human economic activities and natural ecology. Study the structure, function, law, balance, productivity, and ecological economic benefits of ecological economy, macroeconomic management, and mathematical models of eco-economy. Kenneth E. Boulding, an American economist, formally put forward the concept of ecological economics and spaceship economic theory in his book, A Science, Ecological Economics. It became the beginning of ecological economics. Ecological economics is a new discipline from the 1960s to 1970s, but the relationship between human social economy and natural ecological environment has been universal since ancient times. Social and economic development must be compatible with its ecological environment, which is the common economic law of all societies and all stages of development. Ecological economics is produced according to this law. Ecological economics has unique characteristics, which are different from other disciplines. It has the characteristics of comprehensiveness, hierarchy, rationality, and strategy, Comprehensiveness is that ecological economics studies the relationship between economy, society, and natural ecology on the whole. So the research must combine the relationship. The second is hierarchy. From a vertical perspective, it includes the study of ecological economic issues of whole society, as well as the research on professional types of ecological economic issues. 
from a horizontal perspective, it includes the study of various hierarchies of regional ecological economic issues, which is different from its hierarchy. Regionality is that when studying ecological economics, we should take a country or a unique region as the basis to study its different ecological environment issues and related issues to ecological environment and economy. The fourth aspect is strategy. The goal of eco-economic research is to optimize the overall benefit of eco-economic system and to point out the direction for the development of social economy from a macro perspective. Therefore, its discipline setting is strategic and proactive. So what are the basic contents of ecological economy based on this judgment? The purpose of ecological economy is to achieve ecologicalization of economy. Ecological economicization and the coordination between ecological economic system and economic system. And to promote the goal of maximizing ecological economy benefits. Therefore, it must follow some basic principles. For example, basically by the ecological economic system and ecological economic balance and ecological economic benefits supplement each other. It includes theories of social economic development and the relationship between the ecological environment, development conditions of human survival and ecological demand theory, ecological value cognition and measurement theory, ecological benefit assessment theory, and ecological economic coordinated development theory. Some technical methods are formed among these theories, including ecological economic regionalization, planning, and optimization models. And the practice is guided by the view of ecological and economic synergy. Ecological economy also includes the application of ecological economic management, which is to formulate national ecological economic standards and specific indicators to evaluate ecological economic benefits. In evaluating major economic construction projects, we need to make ecological and environmental economic assessments, reform management systems and policies that are detrimental to the coordinated development of the ecology and economy, strengthen legislation and law enforcement on the ecological economy, and establish an education, scientific research, and administrative management system for ecological economy. Finally, we should also study how the development history of ecological economy is formed. By studying the history of ecological economy, we can find out the law of its development so as to guide the current and future trend of ecological economic construction. Above, we have shared the teaching material system and discipline characteristics of ecological economy the basic principles and enlightenment of discipline development. Thank you. See you next time.